Hi, this presentation is on the psychosocial impact of multiple sclerosis. So we'll be looking at multiple sclerosis within the borough of Greenwich. Greenwich has a population of over 250,000, with over half the community being white British. It is the 14th most deprived borough of London. There are 42 GP, GP surgeries in the borough of Greenwich and four hospitals in the surrounding area. Oxley's NHS Foundation Trust is the main provider of community health care, including mental health care. So on pa placement, a patient was um, encountered who suffered from MS. They used a wheelchair and had carers visit. Um, however, they had such a positive outlook on life and were talking about their many friends and social lives. Um, it got me thinking, what effect must such as a chronic debilitating disease have on an individual and what care pathways are available? MS is an autoimmune disease where the myelin sheath, which protects the nerves, is attacked. This leads to many problems and can cause difficulty walking, vision problems, psychiatric issues and cogn cognitive difficulties. A mixture of inherited and environmental factors are thought to contribute to getting MS. Um, there is no direct link between MS and socioeconomic status. In fact, some research suggests that a higher socioeconomic status may be linked to MS in contrast with most other diseases. The prevalence of MS in the UK is approximately 107,800, with incidents being 5,110. This means that there is approximately 434 people living with MS in Greenwich, with 21 new diagnoses each year. So there are three types of MS, the difference being how the disease progresses, either with relapses or just gradual deterioration. There is no cure as yet, but there are a number of treatments. So there are treatment for um, relapses with steroids, symptom management treatment, disease modification, which helps reduce the overall worsening of disability, uh, rehab to enhance physical function, as well as psychosocial support. Um, so health is said to consist of physical, mental and social well-being, but MS patients report their health related quality of life is worse compared to um, the general population in both the physical and the mental domains. So this biopsychosocial model of health is useful in the research of MS as all these factors interact to give a health outcome. So the self-regulatory model discusses how people deal with the threat of an illness by forming a representation of that threat. MS is really unpredictable um, and in terms of what symptoms will appear and when, which greatly impacts how patients view it. So the effects of MS are wide ranging from the physical to the psychosocial um, to the social. So around half of people with MS will develop cognitive changes, which are associated with unemployment problems, social problems, difficulties of activities of daily living and quality of life. Depression is the most common psychiatric order. This is both due to the physical effect of MS on the brain, as well as its effect on people's lives. Um, the suicide risk is up to 7.5 times greater than in the general population, and they also report more anxiety. MS is also a very unpredictable disease. People may be unable to walk, have to wear an incontinence pad and have cognitive impairment. Many feel that they can never have a normal life and feel anger, fear and frustration. Um, people don't know how they're going to wake up in the morning and how their level of functioning will be. So symptoms such as fatigue, sexual dysfunction and speech problems and cognitive impairment have huge impact on the social life of patients and social anxiety is common. Um, and due to the various symptoms, people with MS have an increased risk of losing their jobs. Unemployment can affect quality of life and have debilitating psychological as well as financial effects. Physical symptoms such as muscle weakness, visual disturbances and tremors can add to sufferers' feelings of depression and social anxiety. Falls are also a major problem um, and can have a huge impact on daily life and psychological well-being. This can lead to concern about falling and a loss of confidence in performing daily activities and going out in public. However, in some cases, people with MS suggest a deepening of relationships and enhanced appreciation for life. Um, in many cases, people are inspired to live their lives to the fullest. There are care pathways to assist with the symptoms, um, from physical therapy to help with muscle weakness and fatigue to support groups for those suffering from depression or anxiety. Clinical pathways such as steroids or disease modifying therapies are also an option. As you can say, care for people with MS uses a multidisciplinary approach. So paramedics can make GP referrals for symptom management as well as welfare referrals if a patient needs home assistance. I met with the MS specialist nurse, Kitty McCarthy for Greenwich, who can refer patients to the Greenwich Community Neuro Rehab Team. This offers many services such as speech and language therapy, as well as having an incontinence team. There are also charities to um, offer social support. The MS Society has a Greenwich group and their number is given on diagnosis. There are also social media sites, um, potentially for younger people, which includes a Facebook and Twitter page. Some relevant 
policies and guidelines include the nice guidelines on the management of MS in adults, as well as nice guidelines on depression in adults with a chronic physical health problem. MS Society also does campaigning, for example, supporting people with MS to stay in work, as well as to stop MS specialist nursing posts from being cut. Acts such as the Equality Act are also relevant in helping people with MS stay unemployed. Here's a list of references. Thank you very much for listening.